So hi guys welcome once again to my channel and in this video I am going to show you how to do the Facebook live uh, reaction stream uh, so this is a kind of new feature on Facebook so I thought to share with you all why so many people trying to don't know how to do it this uh, so yeah so what this thing we need to do is we need only three things that is first of all of course is an OBS so this is our free software and next thing is the confirmation which we are going to do and the third one is of course a Facebook account or a Facebook page account so once you have these three things so let's get started guys so what basically first of all you need to do is first just go, let's go ahead and let's download the OBS so this is the site of obsproject.com and just put the link in the description so just go ahead there and just download the OBS software so if you have Windows 7 user or Windows 7 plus user I mean if you're 8 or 10 uh, further so just go ahead and download tap on this but if you're for OS X or Linux user just go ahead and download that, that also but uh, yeah so just go ahead and tap on Windows 7 so once you will just download the Windows 7 I uh, it will automatically uh, download so I have currently installed this so I will not really install this at once again so yeah so once you have downloaded this so the, as you can see it is 0.16 version so it is the latest one so once you have it, just done this so what basically you need to do is just go ahead to the setting and now let's, now let's configure this now let's go to the uh, stream service and if you just go to the Facebook live and what the next thing is we have to just put the uh, stream key so for that what basically we need to uh, do is uh, just uh, go to the facebook page so this is my facebook page so the next thing is uh, you need to do is uh, just uh, go to the publishing tools here and here you will see and then go to the video library and the next thing you will see an option called video uh, with the plus sign that is the live just tap on that and just select the whole stream uh, url and just uh, paste it here and that's it just uh, tap on apply okay now once you have done this the next thing is uh, of course what this going to do is uh, the next thing is go to the live reaction poll.com i will just put the link in the description so once you have that just uh, keep the just leave the access token and post id blank we will just config this further in this video and keep the stream resolution to 720 it is for uh, it is about 640 by default and that's it just put your title text whatever you want like comment share whatever the subtitle you want and the next thing is choose the background image so i'm selecting uh, this one and the next thing is choose the logo for which you are in which for which the reaction you want so i'm just using i'm just uh, doing this for as a as my topic is which is a favorite channel so i'm doing it for youtube so just uh, go to the there i'm just doing selecting the icons so this one is for pewdiepie and similarly i have already selected this the ones and yeah so once you have done with this the next thing last but not the least is um if you want you could also add the share content and once you have done this just tap on preview so it will take some time to load um, and that's it there we go so as you can see this is how our live stream will look like so once you have done this just uh, tap on the download and now uh, something called script will download so let it download so i have already downloaded so once you have downloaded this um, let me just put this in a separate folder so yeah, so so once you download the script thing, just go ahead and tap on the using Windra, just tap on extract here. So this is the your folder will look something like this. Uh, it's, it will show some number on on there. And just go ahead and tap on open, you will see uh, the two files. One is the image and then the one is the index. So the index one is the, the main part. So what you need to do is use notepad, just open with notepad. And what we are not to, we have to do with now is uh, just uh, search for token using control f and he, uh, he will go. so these are the two things which we are going to config so what you first you need to do is uh, put the assist token so now let me tell you how to get the assist token so this is our preview page right now just go back and now here you will see an option called get assist token so something um, graph api explore something this will pop up just copy this whole and now just uh, 
Terus uh, Yeah, this is token between this There we go And the next thing is uh, We have to put the post ID here So I will, I will just tell you how to do this further in the video So once you have done with this um, The next thing is of course Just go back to the OBS In the sessions one Right click all or just tap on the plus sign then tap on browser and select ok and there we go then select on local file browser and select the index file so my index file is uh -huh. so yeah so this is our index file right here and tap on ok and just tap ok so this is our index file so what basically you need to do is now now let me just decide it after the so it will look pretty good so as you can see it will not look a bit in full screen mode so now let me just go ahead and tap on uh, stretch to screen and using this thing you could just resize it to make it look pretty cool and here we go so this is how our uh, it will look like while streaming so now let me just go to the display yeah so it is yeah so it is like a full screen mode so this looks perfect so once you have done with this so now let's start with the student one so here we go so once you have done as you can see it will now ask you to invalid or access token if you are getting this so now let me tell you what basically to do is uh, just go ahead and make sure you have done the save thing and once you've done this you will not get this error again so once you've done this just go to your facebook page so once you're here what basically you need to do now is just uh just go ahead tap on next and make sure you just start the streaming as you can see after some time uh it will just show you the preview of how your live stream will look like so this is how so till then just add the video title uh, so now let me till then add the video title so once you are done till then uh, add any uh, give any video title and give the video tags by giving comma in between and that's it once you have done this just uh, go live just tap on the video go live and you are ready to go and do your live stream something like this um, uh, this will pop up and that's it and now now what I, I said now we will do uh, something for the the custom ID so what basically you need to do is um, just uh, tap on this it will give you some post detail and here we go so once you tap on this you will see an option called view permanent just tap on this so this is the main part just uh, copy this as you can see I'm currently live here so just just copy so this is the custom post ID so just go ahead and just copy this so once you have just copied this so what basically you need to do is just uh, go to your uh, index file open with the notepad edit mode and now now just uh, search for the token once again so as you can see we have already added the custom for uh, assess token now it's now it's time for adding the custom post id id so now just put the custom post id and now that's it just save and what will happen now is it will just sync the live and then the likes from the server to the from the or uh, to the obs also so once you have done this uh, as you can see we are going live you can see I'm currently liking my video so it will just similarly just show you the number of likes you are getting so that's it guys so similarly on your OBS so it will show you uh, two likes so that's it guys uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you really love this video don't forget to like subscribe and for more till then bye bye this is your host Mr. Niamster signing out